Welcome back. A groundbreaking discovery at Intermountain Medical Center could save the lives of the most ill people. Today, IMC doctors released the findings of a 12-week clinical trial for patients with advanced stages of liver disease. It's all caused by hepatitis C. Good for Utah's Nadia Crow explains the cure. You can see the extreme effects of liver disease from Carson Strachan. I was at an Easter party with some friends that somebody noticed I was yellow. I went and saw my doctor later that week. Lisa Schumacher continues to suffer from liver failure after contracting a virus 30 years ago. Only tests in my life I ever failed were those hep C. But now, Intermountain Medical Center Medical Director of the Liver Transplantation Program, Dr. Michael Charlton, says a clinical trial brings new hope for those suffering with hepatitis C. The sickest uh, patients with liver disease, the sort of people who you would expect to go on to need liver transplantation. A simple pill given to 267 patients participating in a 12-week clinical trial. Uh, for most patients, it's one pill once a day. For some patients, it will be two types of pill a day. The goal was to find a cure for hepatitis C. We achieved an overall cure rate of 90% across all of the 260-something participants uh, in the study. Dr. Charlton says just look at the numbers. For a transplant, it would cost between $500 and $700,000. But for that 12-week treatment plan, just sixty-five to 100000 The prices are coming down. There, there are more drugs being developed. and. All of the medicines are feeling the gravitational pull of market competition, which is fantastic. But Charlton thinks of patients like Lisa Schumacher. For them, a cure seems unbelievable and priceless. It's an emotional thing when a patient has been struggling with hep C for sometimes decades and they find that they're, they're cured of it. Uh, just that uh, emotional impact is, is really substantial. In Murray, Nadia Crow, Good for Utah. Now, the new pill still needs FDA approval, which the doctors believe it will get in June or July. They go on to say more research will show the long-term effects of the new